everybody. Thanks for joining me back here at Power Mods. Look at this. I mean, this happens. It's Canada. Snow and salt, road salt. Look at all this cracking in here. This is rotten right out. Cracked back here, cracked all through here, cracked under here on both sides. Look at this. Check this out up here, Kai. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. All cracked. And if you look underneath the front here, all this tubing is just basically scraped off. We've been playing on the rocks. So we're gonna get a steel plate and we're gonna weld it right onto the whole bottom of that thing. And we need to know what it's gonna look like. So that's pretty easy. I'm gonna grab this cardboard and make a template. I'm gonna come right back to this right there. I'm gonna make it a little bigger than And the, uh, the bars or the tubing itself. That way I got something to weld to. Thanks for holding that there. Handy having you around. Of course, we're going to clean this up. That's where that's going to end. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll be in that right there, behind that tube, those tubes. Oh yeah, most of everything I needed to. Where's my straight edge? Oh, it went in right there. And then, I have to thank Bronco for this sign. That's gonna help me weld my bike together. <laughs> I mean, if there's too much of a lip, I'll just grind it off. But I think we're gonna be all right. Okay, we have a straight edge, let's use it. Kind of. Maybe back a little bit more like that. It'll be fine. That's all be fine. All right, so we're gonna get a piece of steel. Come back, cut it. And then we're gonna have to cut it probably all wherever that bends. Definitely like under here. Because I don't know if we're gonna be able to bend it. How thick do you think we should go on that? Hey, three inch? Three inch solid, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Right. Yeah, something like that. We'll go check it out. Let's go get some metal. Come on in and see the boys. How's it going today? Very good. I need a hunk of metal. Can I go back and sort of see if you got something that's kind of close to that? Do you, do you have anything in that shape? Not in that shape, but you're uh, more than welcome to go and have a look. Now, would you cut that shape? Are you able to cut that shape? We can get it done for you, but uh, we pretty much can only handle straight cuts at yeah, this yeah. location, but okay. uh, we can facilitate it for you. Okay. Well, I think I'll just take a rectangle and then I'll just zing it out with a cutter. Perfect. Okay, I'll go talk to the lads back here. Thanks very much. Thank I love this place. Let's check this out. Check out the hunks of, hunks of copper. We should make a copper sled. No. It's handy for... Um, like oddballs, so you don't have to go and buy sheets of stuff, right? How's it going, bud? Do I talk to you about some metal? Hey, yeah. I need to weld this onto the bottom of my four-wheeler. So that's that, that's the shape I need, but it doesn't have, you know, obviously you're not gonna cut that. But uh, you look, you 14 by 26 long. Okay. Um, what size, I gotta be able to weld, it's gotta be a little bit like a skid plate. What size do you think would be good? Two quarter inches way too thick, even 3 16 is. 11, 11 Let me see that, what's, what's that look like? Well, that's 11 gauge. I like that, I like that 11 gauge. What do you think of that? That's probably the bomb right there. Okay, how, uh, 
Okay, C can you shear me off uh, what I say, whatever that, 15, 14 by 26? Right on. Aha, uh -huh. he's gonna shear it for me. Uh, 26. 26. 26 by 14. Memory's working on. Uh, it's all good. I'm the same way. What an amazing machine. How does he know where to stick that thing? If I were to do that, it wouldn't be so good. So that's 11 gauge. Pardon me? About one yeah, that's okay. That's what I figured. That'd be perfect. Yep. Everything else is going to be a little too hard to manipulate. At least with this, we can bang it and bend it a little bit. And that was 14, right? Yep. Well, I usually have a look at my paperwork before I put It's all good. Battle, but... It's all good. That's it. Right on. Thanks very much. You're quite welcome. Done. That's a big piece of steel. Looks like stainless, the other one. That's it, right now it's ATV, uh, ATV season, but yeah, we're getting ramped up. That time, that time of year. It is. It, uh, Mid-April, or mid, uh, sorry, mid-August, everybody starts getting, yeah, yeah they start Not buying, so, yeah. Perfect. We're driving by a neighbor's house this morning on the way to the shop, and we found this in their garbage. <laughs> That's gonna be our snorkel. Perfect. I cut that just to make sure it's, Tickety boo under there. I'm gonna cut that now. This is 11 gauge, like we picked up at uh, Metal Supermarket. Dirty, dirty stuff to cut. Dirty, dirty. Got myself a plate, plate of steel. What do you think, bud? I think it'll work. I think it's gonna work just fine. You know what? I'm pretty sure we can measure down keys and make a bend in that. Well, it's nine inches. I did. That's pretty much where it is. So I'm just gonna do this. Nine inches, right? Nine inches, right? Bam. I'm just put it against the pipe. It's still a little warm. A little warm. Oh yeah, that's it. So all we gotta do is just put a little bend in that right there. It's like, um, it's a round bend though, it's not like... Um, it's a, like a slow bend. bend. You use like a, a tool. That's it. Probably banging on. <laughs> Is 
So that's good, that's a good start. That's exactly where it needs to be. So, you know what we can do? We'll do this. I don't even have a torch here. Well, no, yeah, we actually, we do have that torch. I like how you think, son. You're thinking like a, like a power muzzer. But, that might just have done it. So we need to pick up the bike more because it's, well, well, maybe we don't. Did I just nail that? Am I off by a little bit? I did nail it. Oh, we just clamp it. How's that look? We just clamp and weld. What do you think, son? Good. Well, uh, we're gonna, I'm just gonna like literally put a tack where it's closest and then put a tack, you know what I mean? Yeah then, yeah, then we'll move everything to where it needs to be. That's good. Just gonna put another tack in here. Move to the other side. But I gotta get that good clamp. Extra myself. <laughs> this tube is not a tube anymore, it's a kind of a overly flat kind of weird looking thing. Just the little tacks here and there, you know, that's kind of... Don't pop it everywhere. Hey? Eh? The um, glasses popped everywhere. It popped everywhere? Yeah, like the, like, the, yeah. the stuff on top. Yep. A little fragile up in here. You want to weld? You want to try? Uh, I have a t-shirt on. So? Why don't you give her? Now's a good chance. Okay, so you're gonna put this helmet on. Snap that down the back of your head. Don't worry, it's nice and sweaty. I got her all ready for you. <laughs> okay, so come on over here. Now, you have to be that good or better, which is not gonna be hard. See, <laughs> look at that. That's really bad, but hopefully it'll hold. Okay, so uh, you don't close that, son, yet. Okay. Oh, you want gloves? I usually do it barehanded. I'm an expert, because you can obviously tell. Just take this little gizmo, and you, when you press the trigger, the thing comes out. Get that? As it's coming out, you sort of got to move it, but you got to fill. You'll see, like you can't pull it away too fast, or it'll just, it won't do anything. So uh, just come on in here and just try to fill this. Yeah, but I'm going to close my boots, though, because I got a lot of stuff in the boots. Well, you're not going to have to worry. Your boots are going to be underneath here. All right, I want to see you get your feet burnt. Can we, is, is this okay if we hurry up at this some time? All right. Is it okay if you hurry up at some point here? Like, you know, this is uh, time is money on the power mod set, right? It's not doing anything. What do you mean? It's just doing a big giant blob on the floor. Yeah, okay, so that's okay. Um, is it, yeah, the thing is, oh, this is way too much wire in here. We have to cut that off. So, sh no, well, if you want to cut it off, you just, uh, all you do is you just touch it to the edge of the metal and just, just do one of those. Okay. Um, but hold it 
Yeah, yeah, the That's ground still. <laughs> it's all good, bud. It's all good. Just, just hold it in there, and you'll see it get hot. Let it get hot, and you should see a nice puddle. That's what they call it, puddles. Puddles of welding. I'm probably the worst guy to tell somebody how to weld. How do you like my instructions? Uh, just, I don't really know how to do this, but just uh, so weld. Let me see you, bud. How you doing? Kind of shitty. That's a big gap, though. Oh, that's pretty bright, eh? That's a huge gap. Okay, so you've welded all onto the steel, but you haven't touched the pipe yet. So just attach it, like, yeah. feed that bead onto the, onto the pipe, it, pipe itself, too. I'll do it over on this side, too. Try to get it in under there somewhere. Under there? Yeah. Yeah, bog, bear, like, you know, bog it in there somewhere. Looks good. <laughs> Always turn your gas off. So there she is, boys. There's the skid plate. It'll hold that thing together, I'm sure. It'll be a tank. A tank rolling through the bush. What do you think? It's not the prettiest welds, but you know, it's uh, kind of power mod style. If you know what I'm saying? What do you think? I think it's going to work. Thanks for coming back as usual. Keep coming. We're doing all kinds of stuff. Clutch, gear reduction, the whole nine yards. Make sure you hit the notifications bell up beside the video so you get the notifications of the other videos. There's probably 30 videos coming out in this build. It's going to be wicked. Thanks for watching. Okay, on to other things.